We've covered a bunch of ways on how to make and include lower thirds in your live stream. But in this video, we're going to go over the ultimate way to make them for your live stream, lower thirds, titles, graphics in a way that honestly, I didn't even think about until I was on vacation. And that is using DaVinci Resolve to make all of your graphics and lower thirds live for your live stream. It only requires a couple of things, but we're going to show you how to do it. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. Now, to get started, I try to do all of my stuff here to keep it as low price as possible. Um, but this is going to require a couple of op options that I'm going to lay out for you. Number one, you're going to need a um, DaVinci Resolve. We're going to do this with the free version or the studio version. Either one will work. The studio version, um, if you buy that, that's $295 up front. That's going to give you some leeway to make this stuff a little bit easier or you can go with the free version but you're still going to have to buy something you're going to have to buy one of these cards you're going to either need to buy the deck link mini monitor that's mainly if you're using if you're using the atem mini any of the atem minis um mini mini pro pro iso extreme extreme iso whatever you can use the mini um, monitor if you really want to be fancy and you're using one of the other ATEMs that does not have any form of um, scaling built in, you need to get one of the Decklink Mini Monitor 4Ks so they can have all the ranges of resolutions that the ATEM can use. Me personally, I am using the Intensity Pro 4K. I've had that card for years and it works for me because it has an input and an output. Is all about the output. That's what the monitor is for. So Anthony, I'm going to give a big shout out for you. When me and you struggled, <laughs> we picked the wrong card for your install. The recorder records video in. The monitor produces video that goes out. That's why we need this for. Now, if you have the studio version, like I'm going to be using, you need to have your graphics card have multiple outputs. My graphics card, the RTX 2070, has five outputs, so I'm able to use one of these. But in the setup that I am doing, I am using the Decklink Mini Monitor, the lowest cost one, $150, $145, on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm doing it as bare minimum as you possibly can be, but it can be done on the higher stuff as well. All right, so let's go ahead and cut back over to draw IO so we can design and show you exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna have our ATEM. And again, I am using an ATEM um, Mini for my stuff, but this will work with um, any of the switchers. And honestly, you could, mm, I wanna say you can possibly, if you can have some other switcher that does some type of downstream keying, this will work as well too. And actually, now think about it. If you have multiple capture cards and you have it connected to OBS, this can work as well, too. But anyway, <laughs> let's go. So I'm going to do a camera, which honestly really isn't needed for this design, but it's good to show you anyway. So we have this connected. Let's go to the side here. And we're going to do a computer. Please be mindful if you get one of these um, cards that you are aware of what type of um, PCI um, connections you have available inside your system because um, that is required for this. So what I'm using is an HDMI out from the mini monitor and I'll cut over to some video so you can see what that looks like. And that is connected directly to the ATEM. I have mine connected to input number seven right now on mine. Now, this doesn't act like a graphics card. So unless you're using any software that 
actually can talk to the mini monitor, it's not going to output anything. So the mini monitor works with um, ProPresenter. It also obviously works with DaVinci Resolve because it's made by Blackmagic, the people who make the card. That's all we're going to do. And the same steps that we do for the DSK, that's what we're going to do. So if I bring over my software here, So like I said, I'm using input number eight, even though it says HyperDeck, that's what I just have it connected to. We're gonna go to palettes. We're gonna go to my downstream key at number two, and I'm gonna set my fill and key to that input, which is um, the HyperDeck, which is number seven. That's all I gotta do. Now, you do might have to tweak it a little bit with colors, but that's mainly about it. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. All right, so I am here on my streaming system that has an Intensity Pro 4K in it. Now, I am using Studio, which reminds me, I guess I need to upgrade to Studio 18 on here. But again, the settings are going to be the same. But I'll get it, I'll be able to show you both paths. So if you have multiple outputs and you have the Studio, you could simply go here to Workspace. And then we're going to go to clean video feed and then we just select the feed and that's it. That feed is going to be the connection that is connected to your ATEM. That's all you have to do. Now, the if you don't have that and I do have it connected up here, we're going to go over here. This is if you have the free version, you're going to come over here to DaVinci Resolve folder, go to preferences. We're going to go to video and audio and then there's going to be a monitor device. If you have installed any one of those three, the um, Intensity Pro 4K, the Mini Monitor 4K, or the Mini Monitor, it will show up here, and I'm going to use that as my output. So it shows both, but if you have the studio, you don't need to buy the card. You just spend the money to buy the license, and boom, and you have multiple outputs. That's all you need. If you don't, and you, you don't have the studio version, all you have to do is buy one of those um, external, I mean, internal uh, monitor cards, all right? So I've already had this all set up. So now what we're going to do, and I do have everything set up here, we're going to go here and just show you just how simple this is. Because if I cut over and I'm going to change this to show you what my feed is right now, it's just showing blank. That's coming back from this computer right now. That is coming from the mini um, the Intensity Pro 4K, all right? So let's come in here. We're just gonna go over here to um, some effects and actually let me get out of cut. Well, let's do cut just because it actually shows you everything here. So say we wanna do any of these lower thirds that have already been designed. Um, and I'm gonna do this one just because it's big, all right? And we're going to come in here, click on it. We're going to go to Inspector. So now we can change our stuff. So I'm going to scrub forward a little bit so we can see the graphic. All right, so there it is. Now, actually, I'm not going to use this one because I want one to stay in the lower third. I don't want to have to eh, forget it. We can move it. All right, so say we want to say this is... Mm, AJ, the CEO. And then down here in the bottom, I will type AJ Holmes. All right. So I'm going to loop this and I'm just going to keep playing it. All right. That's what's going on here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if I switch over to what my ATEM is seeing on that output, this is what's happening right now. Is coming in, and that's the full screen output that's coming from DaVinci Resolve. All right. So now, if I go back to this shot right here, actually, let's go back here because I need to re I need to reposition this. This is the reason why I wanted to change this. All right. So let's stop this from looping real quick, and I want to change the position of this. And this just shows you how much I don't use cut. Let's go over here to edit because <laughs> that's what I do know. 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to reposition this. I want to reposition this here as a lower third. All right. So now when I play it, and I didn't do it on loop. Now it's in the lower part of the screen. That's kind of what I wanted. All right. So now if I cut back over here so you can see what's coming out of the output from my um, monitor card, this is what's happening. You're seeing that graphic. Now, realize nothing, you're seeing black, but it's really nothing is being sent. That's transparency behind this. So now, if I switch back over to this and I engage DSK2, because that's what I had it pointing to, we should see something right over here. And there it is. That's being done now from DaVinci Resolve. So if I come over here to DaVinci Resolve and just stop the play, See, now it's not going to stop. I can have it, um, have it animate in, and then I can DSK and turn it off. If I turn it back on, it's right there. I can change the length of the time of the whole um, text here if I want it to, to make it exactly what I want. And let's switch it back so you can see the editing that I am doing. So if I come here and say I want this to be... 10 seconds, all right? And I'm gonna turn the loop off. So let's go all the way back, all right? And then I'm gonna go back here to what you're seeing me do, and then I'm just gonna turn on the DSK, which is actually already on, which is good. Now I'm just gonna come over here and hit play on DaVinci Resolve, and then there we go. We have our lower third right here, and it's gonna stay up for 10 seconds, and again, without me touching anything, and then boom, there it goes. In any lower third, any graphic will work this way. So if you're tired of doing, um, you're not liking how presenter, pro presenter, any of them are making their stuff, and you kind of want to get like some templates from Video Hive or Invitu, anything like that that has it made the way you want to, all you got to do is change the text, you get the animation, you get all that other stuff, that's how you can do it. So let's go ahead and do this again and let's make another one. All right. I'm going to go back over to cut because again, it shows all these tiles in a nice way. And say this time we want to do, um, we want to do a title, a sermon title. So I'm going to do this horizontal one here. And again, I'm going to cut, go back over here to edit. I'm going to drag this out for 10 seconds. So if we just went generically and played it, oh, and I still had DSK on. That's why y'all can see it over top of what I'm doing right now. Let's turn that off. So now if I just scrub through this, you see it gives me a nice little bar here and all this other stuff. So let's say, let's come in here and say, um, Actually, I'm going to use the title for my pastor's sermon tomorrow. I used the title there and I'm trying to remember the scripture off the top of my head. Something like that. All right. So we play that. You know, you already got that nice little activity, all that other fun stuff, and then it's going to fade out. All right. So let's go back and just do it again. We're going to switch back over to here. I'm going to turn on my DSK, which honestly I could leave on. Um, that's the beauty of this as well, too. And now we're going to play that sermon title, and it will show up right here in the center of the screen. Once I rewind and play, and there you go. That's all being done inside of DaVinci Resolve. So again, if I'm doing this and say this is over and I stop it and I need to make sure I fade that out so I can get rid of that bar. Let's fade that out real quick. So if I play it again, completely disappears, all right? So I could have that set up with a um, tabs here pre-made. 
So I can have all the lower thirds here if I wanted to. So I can go back here and have um, title here. And then all I'm doing is switching back and forth and playing. So if I cut back over here, I will play my lower third and boom, there you go, right there. All of that is being done inside of DaVinci Resolve using the monitor or the full screen output that DaVinci Resolve is making and it's playing it in real time. Now, I would not try and do something super, super intensive because um, your computer does need to be able to run DaVinci Resolve. We're only using text layers, not anything complex. Um, if you have a faster system, then of course you can use Fusion if you're familiar with that, which I am not. Um, but you can do all the fancy stuff in that if you wanted to. But all we're using is the monitor function out that's in the free version as long as you have a mini monitor, mini monitor 4K, intensity um, Pro 4K, um, any product that's made by Blackmagic that has a display out that's compatible with DaVinci Resolve, you will send that out over HDMI and also the beauty of those cards, except for the one that I have, the Intensity Pro 4K, it has HDMI out and SDI out. So it could work with either one, but you just connect that to the ATEM, just like the other videos that we've done on how to put graphics over live um, video that we've done numerous times before, we're following the exact same steps and that's how you can show this here. So if you have any other questions, please leave them down below. Um, I just thought about this when I was, um, like I said, when I was on vacation, I was like, man, why in the world have I had never tried that? But we're gonna be trying that um, here in the future um, that we have in service and it makes it a lot easier. You can make the design one time and then you can just pop people's name in and just type and just play and it moves smoothly. You can do titles, you can do all this other stuff. And I'm just wondering, let me know if you're doing something like this or if you plan, how else do you want to implement this? Um, it's a bunch of ways that you can do it that's popping in my head right now, but leave them down below because again, this is how we grow each other. We learn from each other because I don't know everything. Y'all have some good ideas. I have some good ideas and we're just sharing them and then all of our media ministries can get better. So that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ and we will catch you on the next video. Later.